well, we can talk about all the goodies and, you know, putting on the weight and the presents and the family get-togethers and all that. But I want to take just a few minutes now with uh, Pastor Miles McPherson here from the Rock Church to talk about the real meaning of Christmas and just kind of pause, reset, and just kind of remind ourselves a little bit. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, How have you been? Good, good. Good. Now, as a former Charger, I was asking you, how would you feel about going out and playing yeah. on that field at Qualcomm? When I was in college, we played a game where it was literally underwater while we were playing and raining. We had 15 people at the game. My family and my <laughs> <laughs> this is college. Right, right. <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> I went to very small school. It was my family and my buddy's family. That wow. was it. It was just pouring the whole thing. Oh boy. Well there'll be fifty one thousand there tonight and they've got it all dried out and it's gonna be fine. Uh, a lot of stuff going on at the Rock Church. I wanna talk about uh, Toys for Joys first off. Pretty doggone successful campaign. We've been doing Toys for Joy 14 years. We started the uh, four, four years before the church. And this year we were at Lincoln High School. We had um, uh, 9,000 toys given away, not only to the kids that were there, but then to organizations around the community. We had just under 7,000 people, 10,000 bags of groceries, 225,000 articles of clothing given away. It was uh, incredible. Our volunteers are amazing. We had just under 2,000 volunteers this year. Uh, and you can just see the video. Uh, it was a, a great opportunity and, uh, for us to bless the community again. Volunteering, giving, getting outside of yourself a little bit, it's good for the soul, isn't it? Yes, this year uh, we'll, we just completed 200,000 hours of volunteer service for our city. Last year was 166,000 hours. And next year we'll go do more than that. So it's a, it's a blessing to do that. That's what Christ has called us to do. You think it's contagious? Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, you know the old saying, it's better to give than receive. And that's what Christmas is all about. Christ gave his life. We were made in Christ's image, in God's image, so uh, giving is uh, what we're created for. Now, you and I were just talking here during the break about, you know, some of my family traditions growing up uh, out at Skyline Church and uh, Pastor Butcher, who just, just passed away this last year. The Christmas cantata, uh, the Christmas story, going to the candlelight service and everything, such a part of my childhood growing up. It's good to have those traditions in the family and to do these things as a family, isn't it? Well, it's good to do them as a family because it's good to remember what Christmas is about. This is about Christ. You know, it's not about just presents and trees. It's about, if you listen to the Christmas songs, uh, they tell the story that a Savior was born. I was just talking to a young lady uh, a, a few weeks ago at our church who was three years a prostitute, walking the street, had a pimp, you know, with two guys every day. Mm. And then one day she gave her life to Christ and Christ, and, and she stopped and she's not doing it anymore. And now she's going to school and she's volunteering at the church. Uh, that's what Christmas is about, that Christ came to save us from our mess. That's why this year our Christmas message is Chris Mess, because Christ came to save us from our mess. And we're gonna have four services this uh, Christmas Eve, uh, starting at 245 at, at the Rock Church in uh, Point Loma. You know, if somebody has not been to church, maybe for a, for a long time, since they were a child, the message is the same, but the, the method of delivering that message has become contemporary uh, for many churches now. And that works in a, in a very different way. I mean, God is not some old dusty guy living up on a hilltop someplace with a beard that doesn't change over time. I mean, there is a consistency, but there's also there's a way to make the message contemporary. And I, I don't think a lot of people quite understand that if they haven't been to church for a while. Yeah, and I would, I would encourage them to come to The Rock. We don't, uh, you know, I wear jeans pretty much every Sunday. <laughs> uh, it's God created us for a relationship. It's not about the tradition of how the services operate, because you can have church a million different ways. It's about the relationship. And, and like every creature God made, none are more dependent on a relationship than humans. You look at all the animals in the world, we're the most dependent on relationship because God created us to have a relationship, not only with each other, but a relationship with Him. So it's not a religion. And when you ask Christ to be your savior, not only does he forgive you, but he comes and lives inside of you and speaks to you, encourages you, empowers you. 26 years ago, I was in a crack house here in San Diego. I, was, I wasn't smoking crack, I was using powder cocaine, which is pretty much the same, you know, very similar. But that's where I was, and God established a relationship with me and showed me why he created me and put me on the earth. And that's what, Christmas is a reminder of that, that, that opportunity is there for us every single day. Um, uh, but at Christmas kind of brings us back to, okay, Jesus, we sing songs, but it's not a tradition. This is a real thing, a real opportunity that God has given us to have a relationship with Him. So uh, the service is now leading up to Christmas. What, what are you doing down at the Rock Church? Because I know you've always got a seat for at least one more. Yeah, we got, we got seats. <laughs> we're we're going to have four services on Christmas Eve, 245, starting at 245, 430, 630, and 815. They can go to our website, therocksandiego.org. We're also going to have one in North County at the La Costa Resort at 6 p.m., 
all on Christmas Eve, um, and then uh, Christmas Day we won't have anything, and then Sunday we'll have services again. Wonderful. Look, I'm just going to encourage everybody to come on down to the Rock Church, bring the family, bring the kids, bring somebody that uh, maybe has never been to church or, you know, somebody that hasn't been for a long time, and uh, just promise them that uh, you're just going to sit back and let God do His thing. Yeah, I would encourage people to take this, take advantage of this Christmas season. They haven't been to church in a long time. Go to church and let God speak to you. God wants to have a relationship with you. He doesn't want you to just go through the motions, and that relationship is life-changing. I mean, I could be dead. Easily be dead today, and, and God saved me. I'm glad you're not. Me too. <laughs> God bless. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry it's always Christmas. good to see you. For more information, you go to SanDiego6.com. Just click on Hot Topics.